All right, good morning. So here's what we got going on. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second. I got this email from NVIDIA it says that today at um, 9 a.m. Pacific, or what time was it? 6 a.m. Pacific. So that'd be 8 a.m. my time. Um, that 3090 would be available. So we're gonna log on and see if we can actually capture one. Now, I'm gonna put the monies on the bots that they're gonna be able to click a lot faster than I am if it will even give me the opportunity for uh, clicking and adding to the cart. But what I've tried to do is I've already logged into my accounts. I've already got a couple of sites pulled up here between NVIDIA's main site for the 3090. And I'm pretty sure that none of these will show have their uh, cards available yet either. I think they wait a day to launch those, but I guess we're gonna find out here. I'm not really sure, but regardless, very curious to see what happens here and if this is something we'll be able to snag um, with how the 3080 has pretty much failed and all of these comments on Twitter that are just, oh my gosh, <laughs> bagging NVIDIA and EVGA specifically are the ones I've seen um, that are just com constantly complaining about the fact that all these ca cards are being bought by bots, bought by bots, bought bots, by bots. We're gonna go with whatever that's called. And unfortunately it's not giving uh, gamers or maybe even uh, content creators the opportunity to purchase these at all. So we're gonna see what happens here. Um, my expectations are low. Uh, I am seeing where people are saying, hey, why can't I do a pre-order? Why can't I get on a back order list? You know, these are all really good questions. I'm not really a big pre-order fan because I think if anything else that allows a manufacturer to hike up prices even further. But at the same token, it would be, I guess there is a merit to say, I should be able to uh, pre-order an item or get my name on a list to be able to have an opportunity to purchase, uh, especially when they all know that these bots are literally stopping everybody from being able to buy. So we're gonna continue to click here and see if there's an opportunity for us to uh, snag one uh, again. So it says it's 8 a.m. on my phone. It says 7.58 on my uh, computer here. So we're gonna see which one is accurate. Um, as, of, as of right now, I don't see an option here other than very strange. So it's in pounds. I'm not even sure how they, they uh, do these things half the time. I don't think they know how they're doing these. It's very strange. Look at this. <laughs> oh my Lord. God bless NVIDIA. Yeah, it still says check availability. Obviously there's the 3080 out of stock. And, I've, and I also clicked on all these notified me's and no, I never got a notification on any, any of them being available. In fact, I'm gonna check my phone email right now and no, still no notifications of availability as of yet. So we're gonna see, actually I'm gonna turn on my ringer so that if I do get one to pop up here. Don't expect this to be gripping uh, television or viewing this morning, but regardless, I just wanted to, oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's what happens when you have a quick taskbar and you click something stupid. <laughs> oh. I don't know, has anybody else had any luck purchasing one of these? If so, I'd love to have you put that in the comment. Uh, I don't know that I believe you entirely, but if you have, you should put it up on Twitter with a picture of it, you know, maybe a receipt. You can block out the sensitive information, but um, I think proof would be appropriate for something like this. Oh, out of stock. See, I already got bought. That is funnier than heck. And that's what you're dealing with. So it's not even getting to the option of even being available. They're just flat out instantly going from check availability to out of stock. Well, congratulations uh, Nvidia on a massive failure again. I mean, that's really awesome. Click on availability, let's see here, English US, buying options. Oh, it doesn't show any, but oh, it just takes you over to European. Ooh, let's see what this says here. 
So is a Strix O24G. So maybe we can buy it in Europe. You can pre-order it for November 27th <laughs> in Europe. Uh, you know, how did they have this thing show up from English? See, watch this. Oh, there we go. All right, well, we're going to sign up for notifications again, which I've done several times now, mind you. And as of right now, um, I've never gotten a notification, but why not? KDS underscore tech. Oof, I'm old. All right, so any refresh. Nope, so it's after the time. That looks like it's, I'm gonna guess this isn't going to be available at all. Nice job, NVIDIA. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately, and I'm gonna see here if there's anything that shows up on one of the partner cards. I don't know that there will be. I think EVGA would be the first one. Oh, I think the sites are crashing. What do you think about that? Am I right? Am I wrong? Still spinning at EVGA. <laughs> oh, wow. Online only. Oh, and that one is. Oh, still says coming soon. Oh, look at that. You can add this one to cart, though. Okay, as I was editing this video, I noticed that I didn't go back and show the uh, footage of when I actually tried to add a couple of these cards to the cart. Uh, I did try to add the uh, MX, uh, the MSI Gaming X Trio, the Zotac, and none of them could actually do so. I actually click on Add to Cart, it would go into the cart, and it would just suddenly said not available. So unfortunately, even though at first I said I'm not going to get one, I gave it a try and didn't happen. So on to the rest of the video. Well, there you go. Let's see how Newegg's doing. Uh, Newegg shows out of stock. So they went from coming, these all said coming soon to instantly out of stock. So if they had any inventory, they got eaten up. I don't know what to say other than it looks like another failed launch. Let's see, I'm gonna click on this one more time. EVGA looks like it has crashed. Out of stock. There we go. So it went to from notifying me uh, to out of stock instantly. Let's see what happens at Micro Center. Oh yeah, these are all say unavailable online. So they say they have various various cards in stock at the store. Um, but I'd have to drive there and I'm not going to do so. So UGA.com. Look at that. So we're gonna try a different browser. Let's just see if it's maybe browser related. No, I'm gonna guess the bots have crashed DVGA. Oh, am I wrong? No, I don't think so. So anyway, we're gonna call this a, yep, there we go. Congratulations, EVGA. Way to make sure that those bots <laughs> didn't get to you, but they did. Anyway, so I guess that's what we're at. Um, another a marvelous launch by uh, NVIDIA. Anyway, this was just to see uh, what would happen and 
looks like it didn't. So that's where we're at. Thanks for checking in. Uh, if you liked today's video, uh, hit the subscribe button for me. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.